I'm a producer from Marsala too, uh, but my cellar is sharing to a different place. I am in uh, Marsala, in the west coast of Sicily, uh, in the in countryside, and in Pantelleria. I'm in the, in the small island between uh, Sicily and Africa. Uh, it's uh, still Sicily, but it's closer to Africa than Sicily. So, so we are 18. 80 miles from Sicily, 60 miles from Tunisia. Uh, my cellar is uh, involved in the territory very much. I, uh, my father, uh, get out from the family industry, uh, from also uh, they was producing wine, and he get out to make uh, uh, his own wine in countryside. Uh, in our small and the family business until now. Uh, the production start with, uh, with the, the traditional wine of the area, especially Marsala, and the second step was in Pantelleria. The wine we made are uh, uh, Marsala, of course, and Passito di Pantelleria. Uh, and these are the roots of my land. That's why we still made it in a traditional way. But also we made the innovation of our land because our goal is to speak about the territory in the, as, in the much uh, most uh, possible way as possible. Uh, in this way, we, 20 years ago, we started the vinification of the indigenous variety of my land, in, the, in, the, in particular Grillo and the Zibibo grape. And we made the white wines of the, of the area. After, and uh, uh, I will talk about, we start also now, it's a, just an experimentation of the last years, about the sparkling wine of the land. Uh, also made with uh, inter uh, um, um, local grain, like the Greenland people. In this way we can offer the uh, most complete uh, rep representation of the area where we are. Uh, and this is the goal of my cellar, of my winery. Uh, I have to talk about the Passito di Pantelleria because uh, after Ciccio, my friends, uh, we talk about the Marsala, so you will give it. And uh, Passito, uh, it's uh, the typical wine of the area of, the area of Pantelleria. I told you Pantelleria is a small island, it's a volcanic <coughs> area. It's uh, very interesting, the typical grape of the island is Zibibbo. Zibibbo it's an aromatic grape. It's the family of Moscato of Alessandria. It's very uh, interesting and it it's a give very different wine. Depends on how you can work with it. If we used to make also the white wines from the north sides of the island because the acidity is very high, but from the south coast of the island we can take the grapes for the Basito production because the sugar is very high and the sugar is very very important for the Basito production. Basito is made in our case in the traditional way. To make more Basito we have to make two harvests. The first one is uh, uh, for the fresh grapes to obtain a very high degree alcohol wine. After we make the second harvest to attain the raisins. So we keep the grape with uh, drying under the sunlight and until we, they are ready to use it for to make the wine sweeter. So it's made in two different time. Uh, Passeter aging for a couple of years and then uh, it's ready. It's the fruit of the sun, we can say. And, uh, of course, can be possible to make Passito if the sun is very uh, well. Otherwise, if the sun is not good or it start to rain a little bit earlier, so it's not possible to dry the grape, in that case we obtain the Muscat, not Passito of Pantelleria. So the difference is this.
about the sparkling wine, we, I told you, we start the, pro the experimentation of the, in the in, um, uh, indigenous variety to make sparkling wine, but of course, this is a fruit of, um, we can say, technology because by cold ref refrigeration we can make the fermentation of the wine to maintain and keep the fresh the wine so the, the taste and the fruit of the wine after the wine is used for the sparkly method we used to make it in a method classical so the, um, the addiction of the, the uh, carbonic it's uh, on the bottle uh, after the um, a couple of weeks uh, of fermentation, it starts to be sparkling. What do we have done? It's uh, the sparkling. It's made with the, the most of the same grape. Uh, in this way, we obtain a very uh, uh, special um, sparkling wine, uh, like champagne, but. Uh, it's uh, very interesting for grape, never use it for the, this kind of work. So, in this way we can have, I told you, the most representative way to, to speak about Sicily. This is what we do in our work. I hope to be complete, but uh, other, uh, I invite you to taste in the wine, and I think we will add the, um, the cheers uh, with the my sparkling wine, so you will taste it. Thank you very much for your attention.